It is recording. That's great to know. <laughs> Proper professional here. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back. So good to see you. So this week we have a tutorial on highlights covers for your Instagram page. Now, if you haven't been here before, my name is Tracy Davenport. I'm an Instagram coach and each week I create and upload free tutorials for you so that you can use your Instagram better. So if you follow me regularly, then you'll know that a few weeks back, I created a tutorial and it was all about your highlights. And it was just a basic kind of understanding of how to put a cover on there and how to change it over and how to position it. In the week, I've had quite a few inquiries about how to create really cool highlights covers, but I just thought I'd do a slightly longer, a slightly more in-depth video for them so that they can create the highlights of their dreams. So today's tutorial is dedicated to Social Jess because she wanted to learn about how to create really cool highlights covers and she contacted, contacted me in the week um, and asked me how to do it. So I gave her a really quick tutorial right there and then. But I thought that I'd go into it in depth a little bit more because there are a lot of you that have asked me about this. Now, what I want to do in this tutorial for you is to cover how to create them using an awesome, awesome, awesome app called Canva. Now, if you haven't heard of it before, then you should definitely check it out. It is not only so much fun to use, but it's awesome for creating all kinds of stuff, everything you would ever possibly want for your social media and more. I have the work package, so I pay for my subscription, which entitles me to all sorts of stuff. But there is a really great free version, which anybody can use. All you need to do is do is sign So, and they don't send you a lot of bump or anything like that, so it's really cool. It's fine. Okay, as you can see, I've got the app for Canva on my phone. So it's really easy for me to go in and just create things. And it's so much fun. Now there are two versions of Canva. There's a paid version, which I use because obviously I use it for business, or there's a free version. Now both are excellent and the free version offers you so much that really if you're just using it for personal there's no need to go for go in for the paid unless you want, want to start you know really creating some fun stuff so let's just go into the app and it brings you onto the home page which looks like this and as you can see there's all the preset templates that you can choose for whichever social media platform you would like to create a post for and you can also scroll through these templates. There's um, lots of different options of ones that they have created for you to use and just um, fill in with your own details. Or you can just create something of your own from a blank page, which is what I'm gonna do just for the purposes of this tutorial. Now at the bottom of the page, bottom right hand side, there's a circle, a black circle with a plus. Let's just tap that. Now on the mobile app, you can see you can scroll through to choose your social media dimensions. Now for the highlights cover, we're gonna choose Instagram story. So tap in the middle and then tap it again. All right, so I will tap it one more time. And as you can see, just below the white square, just above my, my photos is the color option. So you can either scroll up and choose one of the standard colors that they have available, or you can tap this, the, the plus button in the black square at the very top of the color blocks. Now, as you can see here, there's a color scroll bar. So you can scroll around with that to just choose the colors that you want to pick. So there's the different dots that you can move around. Now I'm going to go back because I really like this yellow. So that's the one that I'm going to use. Now I've chosen my background color. Next, I want to tap the plus button in the bottom right again. And then you have the option of adding all sorts of things. Okay, so I'm gonna start with text. Now we can either tap the add text of your own and then choose the font, or we can use one of these presets. 
which are kind of fun. So I'm just going to choose one of these. Now, whatever wording is in the preset, you can just change it. So it's nice and easy. So what I'm going to do is tap on. In fact, I'm just going to get rid of that online. Okay, so tap it so that it's highlighted and then delete. And then underneath, there's something else that says tap, so it's highlighted, and then press delete. Now, tap on the word sale, excuse me, right there we go. Tap on the word sale until it's highlighted, and then you can type in whatever you want. So I'm going to just put in <clears throat> fun stuff. Okay, so as you can see, it's actually separated the, the lines that make up the circle. So what I want to do is actually reduce the size down on them a little bit. So let me just get rid of my, my keypad. The size is the number 94 here. So it's next to the, the font. So I'm going to tap on that. And then there's a scroll where you can make the font bigger or smaller. So I want it small enough so that it completes the circle. There you go. And then we hit the tick button to say, yes, that's what we want. Now, what color do we want that all in? Just to the right of the sizing of the font is a color bo uh, box. So let's tap that. Now, again, you can choose from one of the standard colors or you could pick a color bespoke to you, whatever you want. Um, so you can do it either way. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back because I want to use this pink. So I like that pink. That's fun. And then hit the tick button. And there you go. Now, you could just leave it like that. And if you're making a highlights cover, you've got to bear in mind that you have a circle that is in the middle of the page. Now, you can move it around slightly, but don't go up to the full edges of the page that you're working on because the, the highlight cover won't be able to fit everything in and I'll show you that in just a moment so let's just tap just outside of this and at the top of the page is an is a download button so let's save the image okay so that's saved now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my stories and then here we go on my stories so then I'm just gonna add it to my stories and let that upload and then if we go back to my profile page you can see here is the story so let's tap on my my, my face and we'll tap through so here we go now to make this uh, highlight what you can do is you go to the bottom of the page and it says highlights so tap that and then we can add new as you can see, you can name it whatever you want. So let's do fun stuff. So it's named. And there you go. Now, actually, I could have made that a little bit bigger. So it is just a case of playing around with it. Let's go back into Canva. Let's create a new one. We're back at the home page. Let's tap the black circle. Let's do another Instagram post. Tap on that. And we can choose picture so we could choose something like a burger or whatever I don't really like things like that for my highlight covers as you know so I'm gonna just tap back and tap the blank page again and tap the blank page again to choose color so let's choose another color let's choose the pink this time and then tap in the middle of the page and then at the bottom of the page, there is the plus button. So let's tap that. So what we could do is we can insert an image from my gallery. So, you know, I could put one of these pictures in and move it somewhere if I wanted to have that. But I don't want that one. So I'm going to just remove that by tapping the back arrow at the top of the page. Now let's tap the plus button. Now there's loads of really cool stickers and illustrations that you can add. So I'm going to add an illustration. So if you're really into camping, then maybe something like that might be a good option for you. And then you could have a highlight on camping or let's go back. 
let's have another look at illustrations. Now, if you go, actually, if you go into stickers, they are moving. And if you use a moving image as your highlight cover, it won't show as a moving image on your highlights on your profile page, but it will move when somebody taps on it and opens it up. Okay. So let's just go back to illustrations, which are static. So you can choose a frame. So maybe you want to choose a circle and then put something in the circle, like an image. So there, there's the images. So they have a library of images that you can use if you'd like. So let's just choose one of them and then tap that. So that looks quite interesting. And to make that bigger or smaller, you just pinch it in or out. Sorry, tap on it and pinch it in or out. And you'll see that you can move that around a bit. So let's just centralize that. And there we go. So that would probably work quite well as a highlight cover. I think that's quite an interesting picture. So then we can upload that. I'm going to just go back and create a new one to show you something else. So tap on the blank, tap on the blank, add color. See, this is just how I prefer to do things, but you can always add images and overlay things. There are so many possibilities. So once again, I'm just going to pick a color. Here we go. Awesome color. Tap on the middle of the page again, tap the plus button and illustrations. So maybe what do we want an illustration of? How about, um, so if I'm very creative and I have a lot of ideas about things, maybe a light bulb would be a good idea. So let's do a light bulb search. All right. So you can see there's loads of different light bulbs that come up here as options. Now I like that one. And I think that would actually probably fit. Now the line that's going down the middle of the page that tells me it's central. And then the line that goes across the page that shows me where the middle point is. So that should be about right. So how about that one is a highlight cover. Let's now I'll add it to my stories. And then we can add that to a highlight. We should be able to go on to my stories and there it is and let's add that to highlights okay let's do a new highlight ideas all right so now you can see i've got a new highlight all right guys how'd you like it do you think it was good do you think it was useful did you learn something new i certainly hope so right so canva is really such an awesome tool so definitely go give it a try anybody that i've ever told about canva and has tried it out has just loved it so, and if you do use it tag me tag yourself don't tag me or you could tag me in your post or tag yourself in this post so that i can check out the work that you've done I and now, this is the time that I am sure you've all been waiting for, or not, possibly not. I like to do it though. Okay. What do you think about the dress? It is a very cool 80s new wave dress. Now, I don't think this necklace actually really goes with it, so I'm gonna not wear that next time. But I do like the hat. Do you like the hat? I like the hat. So what's it to be? Come on, I need to know. What's it to be? This necklace does not go. It's got to go. Right. That's better. Okay, so that was today's awesome tutorial. I hope you learned something. I hope you liked it. And what are you going to do? Yes, you're going to follow me. And you're going to watch all my cra crazy awesome and fun tutorials. Have a great weekend. I will see you next week.